Hi, nice to see you again. In this really cold, cold day here in Central Germany. Today, I will talk about what can we really do with a simple lens. And I'm talking about the cheapest lens you can find. I'm talking about a 7300 lens. A lens that costs less than $150 and use it, you can find it even for less than $100. I think this is a good lens. I have it almost 11 years, I guess. Yes, 11 years. And, well, the Sigma is getting wet inside, so I have to use this lens. And I think it's a good chance to do a review of this lens and see what it's all we can do in bird photography with a 7300 lens. So the first thing is to walk to the woods because here it's no bird and not kind of wildlife. So let's go. Well, the first thing I have to say is, of course, that when I mean about the cheapest lens, I'm talking about long lens. And this lens is, of course, in the category of long lens because 300 millimeters is, to be really, it's a lot of focal length. And you can get very close to some objects very far in the distance. But I think we have to start about talking about the disadvantages and advantages, of course, of this lens. So, I think that the first disadvantage, I prefer to start with the bad things, so you remain in your mind with the good things at the ending of the video. The bad thing of this lens is that, of course, it don't have a VR and stabilization system. That means that if you are already trying to do some video, it will be almost impossible. But with 300 millimeters, if you're only up to taking pictures, there will be not major issue. Because mainly in beard photography, we will use a shutter speed over 500 anyway, and that will uh, avoid any kind of shaking blur in the camera. The other disadvantage of this lens is, of course, the aperture. This lens goes from 4.5 to 6.3. That, of course, is by far not a fast lens. And I guess, and I'm sure that the sharpest aperture for this lens is about f9 to f10. If you're shooting 300 millimeters of focal length with f8 with f9 there will be a lack of light and for moving objects that means that you will have to rise the iso maybe over your comfort zone yeah sometimes i get so mad there's no control in me my thoughts get so bad i'm like, I'm like well but things happened once i arrived to this place all the birds flow away and here is where the next issue or disadvantage of this lens plays a major role. And that is the focal length. With 300 millimeters, you have to get really close to the birds to take good pictures. And I'm talking, when I say in close, that means about 10 to 15 meters. That is very close for the birds, mainly when they are shy birds. But that's what we can. With 600 millimeters, of course, you can take pictures with birds about 20 meters and, and there will be no issues. But with 300 millimeters, if the bird is more than 10 meters, you will need to crop the image too much and you will lose a lot of resolution and the image will not worth it. It's very cold and in some places there are almost one meter of snow. It's not easy to walk here. Well, now I have better clothes to be here, 
not with my red jacket. So, like always, I think the best is to go to a place and wait. I'm sure birds will came back to this place. Let's see. I guess the next thing is to talk about the sharpness of this lens. How sharp is this lens? Well, definitely sharper than what you guess you can get for this price. It's maybe not the most sharpest lens, even if you use f9 or f11 or if you shoot at 250 millimeters or 100 millimeters the sharpness is almost the same in the whole range from 70 to 300 millimeters and i really think this is a sharp lens of course always when we talk about the price of this and the best is that you see now some of the pictures i have took with this lens Wow, meanwhile I was talking, a really wonderful red kite was trying to hunt a mouse in the snow. But over 50 meters, so there's nothing to do. Well, the last disadvantage of this lens is the chromatic aberration. It has a very high chromatic aberration. So if you're thinking to buy this lens to take astrophotography, you only can think in the moon. For the moon, you can take very nice pictures. But for stars, Milky Way constellations, forget it. Unless you have a very good software in there, you can reduce the chromatic aberration. But so right out of the camera, oof, it, it's no chance to get good pictures of the stars. So let's walk a little bit more and then let's talk about the advantages of this lens. There are a lot and I love them. Well, the first advantage of this lens, of course, after its price, is the weight. This lens, I'm not sure, but it has to weigh about 300 grams. I will left you right it here in the video. And that makes it a very comfortable lens to carry it anyway. You don't have to care about the weight. The second advantage is, of course, this lens has a really nice fast autofocus. I'm really impressive. But later we will go to a place where I know we will find flying birds with some more action. And there I will take some good pictures. But this lens has a nice fast autofocus. I really love it. The second thing I like about this lens is, of course, it is an adequate focal length. 70 to 300 is a nice range. Of course, I would prefer that from until it should start about 50, 55 millimeters, but from 70 to 300 millimeters is a nice focal range. And so the other advantage of this lens is, and I guess I talk about this already, it's the autofocus. It has a really nice fast autofocus, more than what you can think you could get for the price. And that makes me really happy. I have never missed a picture of a bird in flight. Well, under the normal conditions, no? Huh? It takes sharp, fast and clear pictures. I guess is of course a good choice. If you're thinking to start in bird photography with this kind of lens, you are already made. Later, you can think about a maybe a longer lens or something like that. But remember, it's not the gear that makes a photographer. Are you who made the, the photographer? So, I guess we have to go slowly back. 
the weather forecast says it will not be start to snow today. But we have to go now to a place where I already know that we will find birds in flight. And let's take some action photos with this lens. Let's go. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that this lens is not weather sealed. So if you will use it under very hard weather conditions, I mean in snow, rain, dust, I would not recommend it to you. But once you get dust or wet inside the lens, it's almost impossible to get it out. Okay, now we are here in a place where I know that we will get some more action. The only thing is that we need to wait. Patience enters the game again. So, let's wait. Here used to be a lot of cormorants, ducks, cut. So, let's see. And let's see how this cheap lens works. I will shoot with a shutter speed 1 over 2000 and the ISO rises to 4000. The aperture 6.3, of course, AFC. And well, so I think that's all for today. If you're thinking to enter in bird photography or wildlife photography, definitely this cheap lens will be a good teacher. And once you learned how to work, how to take the good pictures, how to use all this gear, you can maybe think in a bigger lens. But for a starter, this is really an amazing lens. So. I really hope you like this video. Maybe you consider to subscribe and give it a like. And I hope to see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>